Most of us play video games as a hobby. Some of us play video games for the challenge, and very few of us play video games to master them. This mastery is often shown in the form of speedruns. Hardcore players memorize the ins and outs of their favorite games to make these jaw-dropping speedruns for the world to see. If you think you're at the top of your game, think again, because these gamers are out of this world talented. That's why we've compiled a list of 10 video game speedruns that will never be beaten. But before we begin, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all our awesome videos and click that bell to become part of our notification squad. Number 10. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 Mike 89 Sonic the Hedgehog has become one of the most successful franchises in the video game world since the first Sonic the Hedgehog was released in 1991. This game is incredibly fun and is based on one principle, speed. Trying to complete a level as fast as possible is at the forefront of this 2D side-scrolling adventure. This is one of the reasons why speedrunners absolutely love these games. Mastering Sonic the Hedgehog 2 requires an incredible amount of skill. Every button press must be timed to perfection, and one little slip up on a boss fight could throw all your work down the drain. Many speedrunners have been able to finish the game in less than 20 minutes, but only one person was able to complete the game in less than 15 minutes. Australian Mike 89 was that lucky speedrunner. He posted a video on YouTube, completing the game in 14 minutes, 58 seconds. The next fastest time was 27 seconds behind him. It's safe to say that he is king of Sonic 2. Using a combination of incredible timing and hilarious glitches, sending Sonic speeding into other areas of the map. This speedrun is an absolute joy to watch. Who knew Sonic could ever go that fast? Number 9. Super Metroid Oats and Goats Metroid is one of the most successful Nintendo franchises, and Super Metroid is widely regarded as the best 2D side-scrolling game of the series. Super Metroid is an adventure game at heart, so it's often played at a slower pace because players like to explore the area and make sure they haven't missed anything. Once you've played the game to completion a few times and know all the secrets, it may be time for more of a challenge. Oats and Goats posted a video of him beating the previous world record by 2 seconds, with a time of 41 minutes 56 seconds. This is both an awesome feat and an awesome username. The previous world record was so much quicker than the others. Many thought there was no way American gamer Oats and Goats could possibly beat it. It turns out they were all wrong. Every time Oats and Goats entered a room in the game, he knew exactly what to do. He knew every secret, where every enemy would be, and how to take out bosses in split seconds. There was never even one moment of hesitation throughout his speed run. To say he's mastered Super Metroid would be an understatement. Number 8. Skyrim Waz Skyrim is a game so nice, they released it twice. Both the original and remastered versions have sold like hotcakes, which really speaks to the quality of this game. Nothing is more enjoyable than shouting your way through Skyrim and avoiding arrows to the knee. While there is so much to do in Skyrim, and it is impossible to get bored, some people still do. When things get stale, they create new types of characters they've never tried out, or they start speedrunning. There are many different types of speedruns you can do in Skyrim, from main quest speedruns, to guild speedruns, to even marriage speedruns. Well, speedrunner Wax from Northern Ireland decided to take on the main quest speedrun, and he did incredibly well. Posting a time of 29 minutes 56 seconds, Wax was the only gamer to complete the main quest in under half an hour, and he also did it two minutes quicker than the runner-up. The speedrun does include the use of glitches, but don't take that away from Wax, because his speedrun is pretty much unbeatable. His combination of precision, understanding, and glitch use is second to none. Seriously. Seeing a Skyrim character fly around the map at sonic speeds is absolutely hilarious. Number 7. Fallout Planet The Fallout franchise has come a long way since the release of the original Fallout back in 1997. Moving from a third-person point-and-click adventure game to a first-person open-world adventure game is not always an easy transition, but Fallout found a way to get even better. The first Fallout game is often forgotten, but was a classic PC game nonetheless. The atmosphere was incredible and the voice acting was spot on. Luckily, the game was not forgotten by speedrunners. There are two ways to complete the game. Either you destroy the mutant leader or find a way to destroy the source of the mutants. Polish speedrunner Planet found an incredibly quick way to blow up the base and cathedral so the source of the mutants would be destroyed. In fact, Planet did this so quickly, he completed the game in under 5 minutes with a time of 4 minutes 56 seconds. It's a feat no speedrunner has come close to, with second place almost an entire minutes behind. With his knowledge of the game and some perfectly placed clicks, Planet flew through Fallout even quicker than the time it takes for us to shower. Number 6. Portal 2. Zippa and AJ 
Portal is one of the most well-known and well-designed puzzle games of all time. It requires real brain strength to recognize puzzles and learn how to solve them. Some puzzles are a piece of cake, while others may leave you wanting to pull out your hair. The thing is, once you learn how to do a puzzle, you most likely won't forget, so it will get easier every time you go through the game. Practice does make perfect after all. In Portal 2, there is a two-player mode, where you can play cooperatively to solve those pesky puzzles. Two brains are often better than one, and two people who know the ins and outs of the game will surely be able to work together and possibly break some world records. This is exactly what happened with speedrunners Zippa from Sweden and AJ from the United States. They put together an impressive display of teamwork to finish the game in 20 minutes, 39 seconds, 5 seconds quicker than the team in second place, which AJ was also a part of. Over the past two years, AJ has been a part of four different Portal 2 speedrun teams, with each one finishing in the top four. He beat his own world record three times. Just let that sink in. Number 5. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Torhe. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is often referred to as the perfect 10 of gaming. With all the incredibly favorable reviews it has seen since its release in 1998, while it certainly has not aged well, it is easily one of the greatest video games of all time. There are so many lands to travel and temples to conquer in the game, so it's no surprise gamers have begun to do their own speedruns. The pesky water temple may have messed up plenty of speedruns, but not this one. Norwegian streamer Torhe tried to complete the game as fast as he could playing the Japanese version of Ocarina of Time time for the Wii Virtual Console. And boy did he ever. The previous record, set by Skater82297, was considered to be unbeatable by many. But even the best fall down sometimes. Torje is no stranger to speedruns, especially in Zelda games. He has done many different types of Ocarina of Time speedruns, but he never had the world record until this run. Rolling his way through Hyrule Field, Link in his three hearts found a way to defeat Ganon in 17 minutes 9 seconds, beating the previous record by 4 seconds. How Torje beat the game in 7 17 minutes with only 3 hearts is amazing. Number 4. Super Meat Boy Ham. Super Meat Boy is one of the most popular indie games of all time, and rightfully so. The levels are designed incredibly well, and the respawn times are so quick that you don't have to wallow in your misery after a disappointing death. This game requires tremendous precision and speed, so speedrunning the game just comes naturally. The game has been speedrun hundreds of times since its release in 2010, with many people struggling to complete the game in under 20 minutes. That all changed when French steamer Ham broke the world record that stood for one and a half years. For most of the video of him breaking the record, all you hear are the sounds of each perfect button press and control stick movement. While he didn't complete the game 100%, he still finished the game in 17 minutes, 41 seconds, which beat the previous record by 2 seconds. Seeing Ham demolish insanely difficult levels in a matter of seconds is mind-boggling. Some people could play Super Meat Boy thousands of hours and never come close to this guy's skill. It's safe to say this record is going to stand for a long, long time. Number 3. Super Mario Brothers Andrew G. Who hasn't played Super Mario Bros. at one point or another in their life? It is arguably the most iconic and recognizable video game ever released. The game quickly became a hit and helped turn the Mario franchise into the powerhouse it is today. All this popularity and the fact that the game is over 30 years old means there will be plenty of master speedrunners ready to tackle the challenge. There are many types of speedruns you could do in Super Mario Bros. From simply finishing the game as fast as possible to a warpless speedrun. American YouTuber Andrew G broke the world record for the fastest warpless speedrun, beating fellow American Darbian's record by half a second. Darbian completed the game faster than anyone in the world, but not warpless. That record belongs to Andrew G with a time of 19 minutes 3.8 seconds. He had to go through every single level in the entire game. There is so much to remember and one little slip up can ruin the whole thing. Every jump is absolutely flawless and is a joy to watch. Andrew G knows everything about every level and showed off his skills wearing a penguin cap to boot. Number 2. Mega Man X Akitaru Simply put, Mega Man X was an amazing game. It was a huge improvement over the previous Mega Man games in terms of graphics and gameplay. The Super Nintendo library would be much worse without it. Many gamers are constantly getting into arguments with each other over the order you should play the bosses in. Well, clearly speedrunners have put these arguments to bed, since they are completing the game at speeds we have never witnessed before. Canadian gamer Akitaru put his name in the Mega Man X records book by completing the 
game in 31 minutes, 13 seconds. He beat the previous record, which stood for 7 months, by 3 seconds. Talk about cutting it close. Mega Man X is not one of those games that can be completed in 5 minutes. It takes time since there are no warp pipes or shortcuts. Akitaru knows the ins and outs of each level, the weakness of each boss, and the power-ups he needs to jump and shoot his way through the SNES Classic. He is one step ahead of everything the game has to throw at him, which is what sets him apart from the average gamer. Now before we go on to our number one pick, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And for more awesome countdowns like this, subscribe to The Gamer. Number one. Minecraft, the Sizzler. It's as if Minecraft has been around for decades, when in reality it's only been around for six years. The game has taken the world by storm since its release in 2011, becoming the second most downloaded game in history with around 122 million downloads worldwide. The game is available for almost every platform you can think of, besides maybe a toaster. But the platform of choice for most Minecraft players and speedrunners is PC. There have been many different types of speedruns in Minecraft, but the most popular one is trying to make the credits roll as fast as possible. The only way to do this is by defeating the Ender Dragon. Out of all the speedruns done in Minecraft, the one by The Sizzler takes the cake as the most unbeatable. Canadian speedrunner The Sizzler defeated the Ender Dragon in 7 minutes, 16 seconds. If this isn't already impressive enough, he completed the game glitchless and was 40 seconds faster than second place. The Sizzler is simply on another level when it comes to Minecraft. It's so robotic to watch him gather the necessary materials and make his way to both the nether and the end in a matter of seconds. It is undoubtedly the most amazing speedrun on this list. Well, if that doesn't make you want to master your favorite games, we don't know what will. It might take years to do, but it's totally worth it once you see your name in those leaderboards. Let us know of any other video game speedruns that will never be broken in the comments below. Also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with our awesome playlist. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on The Gamer.